Hello everyone, JWR here, and we are going to go ahead and cover some marketing. Yeah, I know you're probably looking down at my channel number and going, you don't have that many subscribers. What do you know about marketing? Oh no, this isn't about marketing yourself. No, 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 no. This is about current popular Hollywood style marketing. And in case you're wondering, yes, that is my picture. So let's go ahead and get into this. As I was playing a game, I was either Senran or, no, it was WoW, it was WoW. My wife was on Facebook and she saw something about Rose McGowan. So she kind of flicked back to it. And she told me, hey, Rose McGowan uh, is saying something again. I was like, well, is it about Charmed? Is that, are they trying to pick it up? Is she going to be a co-writer or something? What's going on? She's like, well, no, it's nothing about Charmed. It's about X and Apocalypse. So I kind of hiked up an eyebrow and I'm like, okay. What's she saying about this now? What's she, what's she saying about Apocalypse? What, she didn't get a role she wanted, or she just doesn't like it, or the guy's just too big? What, 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 what's going on? And she comes back with, a corner Rose McGowan, the billboard is promoting violence against women. Huh. Strange, that. And I say it's strange because Ronda Rousey, a UFC fighter, female, claims she could beat anybody and the whole reason why she wasn't fighting Meriwether was because yeah Floyd Meriwether you know the boxer the reason why she wasn't fighting him was because she didn't think it was a good idea to have people pay to watch a guy hit a girl because let's face it even as a fighter you know you're going to get hit you don't want to get hit you want to have like a flawless victory flawless victory you want to have one of those but you have to accept the fact that there's a possibility you're going to get hit. And so you accept that, but at the same time, you're pretty much having people pay to watch a woman get hit. Mm, that's kind of not a good thing. Even if the fight started with Ronda punching him in the face, people are still going to be like, mm, that's not a good thing, even though this is supposed to be a fight. Now I can go into references about Sailor Moon, I'm going to references about Dragon Ball Z, especially the, Vi the Videl Spopovich fight. That's a big one. But I don't think Miss Rose ever seen Dragon Ball Z, much less that fight, because if she saw that fight, then. <laughs> but it did make me think of one of the major things I have a problem with in the third wave feminist, and that's context. They use none. There is no context at all. Let me give you an example of what I mean by this. The picture that's on the billboard that Rose McGowan got upset about was Apocalypse holding Mystique by the throat, holding up an air in a choke. No context at all. And that's fine because it's a billboard. If you, do, if you didn't see any of the trailers and you didn't care, you just have them look up and that's the first thing you saw about X-Men Apocalypse, yeah, I'd be a little upset too, I guess. But then again, I know the X-Men and I know how things got found in that series. Comic, movie, other. Doesn't matter. You know, here's the thing about being someone who's in multimedia. I notice multiple things. It's, it's a thing I do. I know it's kind of hard to believe because... The only other popular pop culture critic out there, quote unquote, happens to be one that's focused so solely on sexism in gaming that she has her head up her ass. I'm just putting it up there. Maybe maybe it's her writer. Maybe it's just her writer who has his head up her ass, and she's just a vocal parrot. I don't know. That would explain why she doesn't debate people, or she doesn't have the facts back it up. Whatever. Meanwhile, I give no fucks. <laughs> I find the facts. I don't make them up. I find them. What do I mean by this? Well, marketing is a whole thing of if we put something out there that will get your attention and get you mad and get you going and have you throwing the buzzwords out there, violence against women, sexism, misogyny, then we already have your attention. We already have at least 50 cents of your dollar because we have your attention. And you're going, the 50 cents that we have is on your moral standards. Are you going to go support X-Men Apocalypse? Or are you not going to support it? Because if you do go support it, you can uh, maybe be called a misogynist because the violence against women. But at the same time, 
you can also be looked at as a, a new wave feminist if you boycott said movie, which of course draws more attention to it. And this is not the first time this happened, people. This is not the first time it's happened. The whole 2016 Ghostbusters thing. Their whole marketing, their whole marketing isn't even the trailer. The whole marketing is basically saying, no matter what your complaint is, we will throw out your complaint and replace it with misogyny. That is the complaint that we see. That's it. We don't care. It's the whole Gamergate debate all over again. Gamergate says one thing, and the anti gamergaters go, we refuse your premise and substitute our own. You're against girls. Boom. Done. And the more you think about it, the more marketing kind of does the same thing now, because they see it's a big thing. It's a big, how do you do? It's a, it's a catch-all. And like I said, X-Men Apocalypse ain't the first one to do it. It's not. The 2016 Ghostbusters, not the first one to do it either. They just jumped in at the right time with the proper way of marketing. Ta-da, marketing. Bring out a shit trailer. Literally, bring out a shit trailer and then watch the negatives come in because some people who actually are critical of trailers and such will point it out, and then all you gotta do is go, you're a misogynist. Boom. Easy win. Easy win, easy life. I got no work to do there. And do you think those are the only two that did it? No, 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 my friend. Comics did it too. Oh, 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 oh. Before one gets its little high horse over the other, DC had the Joker holding Batgirl hostage, ready to commit more cuttings. And of course, the third wave feminists lost their minds. They went bananas, ape shit, whatever. Because it was promoting violence against women. Because, you know, context. No one, knows, no one knows who the fuck Joker is, apparently. No one knows. No one. No one. Nope. Context. What's that? We don't need it. Wee. And then there was the incident with Marvel's Spider-Woman. Her ass was in the air. And she's wearing tights. A white girl with ass and a tights? No, 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 no. We're not having that. No. Nope. No, no, no. You're all misogynist. Nope. Even with people going, you know, Peter Parker's done that pose multiple times. I'm just putting it out there. It's like a spider pose. Crouching is a spider pose for the Marvel series. You, you, you know that's what we do. We, we kind of have it. Nope, nope, we don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Again, context. Where is it? They don't have any. Fuck you. And the people who mostly get offended right off the bat, right, right from the jump, right from the go, right from the start, people who don't even support things like that in the first place. Like, Ruth McGowan probably wouldn't have seen X-Men Apocalypse. Well, right, didn't he, not even her kettlefish. Doesn't even give a fuck. No fucks given about X-Men Apocalypse. Until she saw the billboard. <gasps> Violence against women. Ta-da! And now we have a statement from Rose McGowan going against X-Men Apocalypse. Oh, there's a surprise. Just that easy. Spy Woman is a fairly hot girl. In spandex. And she's white. Not like that debate has ever come up after the, after the Spider-Woman thing. Oh, wait. Tracer from Overwatch. Great. I've hit movies. I've hit games. I've hit comics. And it wasn't even... For the Overwatch thing, it wasn't even... It promotes violence against other women. No, it's... The white girl. Who had this... Po this I've gone over this already about the back-to-the-camera pose, you know, over-the-shoulder pose that everyone calls it. Yeah, because she's a white girl and fa fairly attractive. And, surprise, it's spandex. People threw a fit. Now, strangely enough, when you look on the comment boards and all that, where this is supposed to kick off, the person who made the comment seemed to have, I can't say disappeared, but they are no longer there. And strangely enough, that happened a little bit after the game was officially released. Not the beta, but when it was officially released. Like, you know, you can buy it on consoles and all that. Yeah. Spot on. Marketing. Brilliant. You get enough attention drawn to Tracer's ass. And they go, oh, we're sorry, we're going to go ahead and do another pose. We're, our bad. We had a pose waiting in the wings. 
and then they throw out a more sexist pose, and every and most of the people who initially were like, well, that first pose was sexist, and it doesn't. I mean, I mean, I mean, not sexist. I mean, I mean, it doesn't fit her. It doesn't fit her personality at all. This broke that group up. This broke that group up in half. Because where the first group, okay, let me break down how it actually how how it went in terms of technicality, real quick. The tracers ass thing was. Group A is saying, really? That's what's offending you? That pose? That is, a com- that is a common pose? Even other characters in the game have this pose. Then the second half went, nope. The pose does not fit the character at all. Look what y'all do. Look what Blizzard says. It doesn't fit the character. Because we know the character better than they know the character, even though they created the character. We know better. We know better. We are all-knowing. We the public are all powerful. We can't be duped by anybody at all, at any time. So Blizzard just went, uh, okay, we have another pose. We have another pose. So they brought out a new pose, which was more sexist. And the funny thing was, the first group, the first group who were saying, D- don't change it, don't change it, after the change, a good chunk of that group bust up laughing. Went, okay, Blizzard, you win. Greatest troll move ever. We apologize. We should have known better. Sorry. Our bad. Good call. Game on. You didn't have to change it, but that was funny. Good good, good going. The second group all of a sudden broke into two more groups. Group A going, that pose is even more sexist. Holy shit. What is with you? Did you miss the point? And the second group went, huh, that pose seems a little bit more fitting to the character, even though... Shows off more of her ass and pose and leg and thigh, and, but it does fit the character more. So you're going. So as you see, it just kept chopping itself down. And like I said, the initial poster suddenly turned up missing when the game officially came out after the pose was done and all that. Hmm. <laughs> Coincidence. Uh, again, it's marketing. That's all they did. They wanted to get Overwatch known quickly. Yeah, we have a problem with Chase's ass. It's a white girl with a booty, and she's in tights. We're just going to recycle. We're going to go ahead and recycle that uh, Marvel comp, uh, that little Marvel incident with Spider Woman. Yeah, white girl with an ass in tights. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and recycle that. We're just going to put on Tracer because she's a white girl. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, cool. We we'll go ahead and do that. All right, all right. Good on you. Woohoo. DC, don't worry. You'll, you'll, you'll get one at a time. You'll get one at a time. We got you, DC. Don't worry. We know how marketing works. We got you. Give it time. In fact. We'll give you a heads up, okay? We'll give you a heads up. Um, we'll we'll sacrifice a movie of ours to help push your problem. Um, you violence against women, right? Okay, check it, check it, check it. We got something called X Men Apocalypse coming out. Yeah, and we're gonna purposely have a trailer out there where one of the women are getting hurt. In fact, we'll make sure there's two scenes. We'll, we'll have a scene where Psylocke is getting hit by Beast because big furry man, and we're gonna have Mystique being choked by Onslaught. I mean, not Onslaught. I'm sorry. My bad. Apocalypse. Same guy to me. You know, I, I don't, I'm not the writer of that story arc, so fuck you. Anyway. So, there'll be two pictures. Put one up on a billboard, and I'm sure you'll have somebody complain about sexism, sexism and violence against women or something or other. Real easy. We'll give you that one, DC. We're helping you out. And sure enough. <laughs> Hi, Rose McGowan. How you doing? Thanks for the free marketing for X-Men Apocalypse. Daft organic. All you organics are daft. You, you just, as a collective, you're idiots. And everyone wants to listen to celebrities because you're idiots. I, 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 mm, you organics bother me with this. But, again, it's free marketing. Someone gets triggered and offended. Free marketing. Free freaking marketing. Use the buzzwords. Make sure you use the buzzwords. If you use the buzzwords, we don't care. Just use the buzzwords. I don't like Ghostbusters 2016 because of the, the story around, the story seems a little weak and the timeline is... Di- nope. Nope, you're a misogynist. I don't care if you're a six-year-old kid who says that it looks exactly the same as the first Ghostbusters to you. It doesn't matter. You're a six-year-old kid. Fuck you. You're a misogynist. Ha <laughs> ha. What's that? You laid out a complaint. That's very... Very elegant. Nice. You've articulated it well. 
you've made a very nice, very nice, elegant argument. I like this. This is very well done. But I'm going to toss that out that way, and I'm going to substitute my own. You're a misogynist. Misogynists don't like this movie because there's women as the lead. Yeah, that, that's it. That's all. But then when we have comics where the woman is the lead, we're going to go ahead and call it um, sexist. Fuck your body positivity image thing because, you know, hot women, you don't get that you don't get that luxury because hot white women, fuck you. Fuck that lot. No, you don't get that luxury. So, um, let's see. Anything else we can cover today for marketing? Anything? Anything at all? Anything for marketing? We got violence and we got sexism. We, we, we good? We good? We covered the buzzwords? We good? We good? We all right? As long as we make sure... Oh, okay. Well, let's make sure in every movie, the main bad guy will have to be white. And it has to be a guy. It has to be a guy. No, you cannot have a woman bad guy. No, 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 no. no women do no bad. Women do no harm. Women cannot rape. Women do not commit crimes. Do not do that. Don't, don't, don't push it. In fact, make sure the bad guy is not gay either because I, I don't want that backlash. Just make sure it's a fairly well good looking white guy. They'll, they'll lop it up. Good, good meals. Good meals. And that's what marketing did. They literally just did that. And had a heyday. Like I said, I know Rose McGowan must not have seen Dragon Ball Z. Or any of the Cell arc or anything of that nature because, you know, or the Majibu arc in this case because, you know, Fidel! Spot of a bitch! Beatdowns! Hospitals! Fidel got to see him. Fidel tried to fight Broly and wound up in the ocean. 18 tried to fight Broly and wound up getting saved by Krillin because her ass was thoroughly kicked, and Krillin said, we need to run. Which was actually very smart of Krillin because they needed to run. Fuck that logic. <laughs> but again, that's just marketing. Marketing just takes advantage of the buzzwords and the big times, and they take advantage of the whole situation, and you organics are going to walk right into it like fucking idiots, like fucking lemmings off a cliff. You're just going to... And you don't know why. Easy mark. Another one. Another one. As long as it's buzzwords, they can just go and have at all day, every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, including leap year. Wow, I'm getting quick at that. I really need to stop. I need to stop saying that. I'm getting quick. But that's the whole point. Marketing's got people by the balls, and there's nothing they can do to stop it. 